Yeah, yeah welcome back to DXB Today. The weekend beckons. In fact, the weekend started for many, but what have you got planned? Well, over the course of this show, we're trying to give you a few ideas of things to do that might be a little bit different, a little bit out of your comfort zone. Uh, living here in the UAE, our kids often miss out on the great outdoor fun. But there is no excuse at this time of year. Our next guest has the perfect antidote to change that and strengthen uh, yours and their bond. Uh, bond with children uh, and, of course, the outdoors with the help of the great, great outdoors here. Please welcome, I love this one, the cheap camper uh, of father and kids camping, uh, Vahid Fatui, who joins us live here in the studio. Vahid, always good to see you. Thanks so much indeed for joining Thanks us. Thanks for having me. Yeah, uh, the great outdoor. I mean, it is camping. Is camping season yet or not? Yes, it very much is. We're actually going camping tomorrow. You are? Yes. First of the season, or have you been out already to test the, not the we, water? It's actually the second trip, if, if you believe it. This um, is the second trip. And to, I mean, everyone knows that there is the great, un, the, the, the great unknown, the great outdoors out there. Not only a small percentage of the population actually get to really properly sample it, like you and your team do. So many, but those that do, not all of them decide to set up an organisation to introduce more. That's you true. did that. Yes. Tell us the backstory. Well, um, I grew up in Canada, yeah. and uh, one of my favorite activities growing up was to go camping with my friends and family. And it was a great way to kind of get away, enjoy nature, enjoy the great outdoors. And so when I moved here about 17 years ago, and I had, we had our first child, I said, you know what, let me try to recreate that experience for my family. And my friends, of course, said, Vahid, you're silly. You live in the desert. There's no nature where you are. This will never work. And I said, no, no, I'm pretty sure it, there's potential. So with the other group of uh, enthusiasts, we started to explore driving up, uh, up along the coastline, into the mountains, deep into the desert. And over time, we realized that, you know what? There's some spectacular sites that are very accessible, that are very, very attractive to actually spend a weekend to detox, to get away from the screens, and really to give the children a chance to roam freely and to you know take in some fresh air. And over the last 14 years now that we've been doing this, we've actually organized over 100 expedition for over 300, 400 different families. And now we have our, actually our you know top 10 list of campsites that are accessible for anyone. And uh, you know to encourage others to take on camping, we've actually made these uh, sites available on our website to really you know, open the door for everyone in the UAE to see just how amazing and how you know, uh, nature is up, uh, available to every family in the UAE. I love that, I love that. But I think the number one question in my mind, and I'm pretty sure parents at home as well, what's the secret? How do we get the kids out there? How do we get them interested in making this jump when the screens are so accessible and that's what they're pretty much immersed in? Very good question. And I would say and get their fa friends involved. And so okay. the way we did it was through their classmates. The very first trips, I enticed my son to go camping because I said, all your classmates are also going camping. And it worked. He said, okay, let's go. And they had a good time. And they said, okay, let's do it again. And so over time, they developed this kind of uh, familiarity and appreciation because it is a nice difference. It is a nice way of kind of going out and doing some adventurous things, knowing that you could always go home to the screen. I was wondering, what's the situation when it comes to pre-planning uh, when going on one of these trips? Because I've got some friends that, like, uh, I'm a foodie, and they, they want to know about, oh, well, we can't eat yeah. here, we can't do this, what are we going to take, how are we going to eat? Uh, one thing, creepy crawlies. A lot of people are like, oh, camel spiders, scorpions, rah, and all these sort of things. So how do you pre-plan and dispel some of these myths that people have when it comes to camping? Yes, well, uh, to your voice point, uh, we ourselves like good food and these trips are actually designed to bring out the best of all the families and so what I do is I organize meal teams so let's say there's a convoy of uh, 12 families there'll be one team in charge of the breakfast one team in charge of dinner and one team in charge of lunch and that's all they do and there's a team leader that's designed to actually curate a really beautiful meal and so you have we've had paella uh, we've had like, you know, you know, Wagyu steak. We've had like Shake Shack type burgers and milkshakes. They deliver out there? Uh, <laughs> you, would, you, would, you would think they do, but actually we did it all on site because 
when you're, you're when you're inspired to only make one meal, knowing that everyone else is going to look out for you, it, it creates a tribal feeling where you want to chip in. And so uh, that is the the first point. And to your second point, what we have realized, uh, and you know, I'm proud to say, is that scorpions are actually not fatal. Uh, we have had scorpion bites over the last uh, you know 14 years, not many, very few, but uh, they're not fatal. And in fact, none of the creepy crawlies that you would ex be exposed to in the UE uh, are fatal. And they may present some discomfort, but in the grand scheme of things, it is actually beautiful. You see foxes, you see oryxes, mm. um, gazelles. It's absolutely stunning, and I highly encourage you to give it a shot. And, and for all the kids watching at home, okay, uh, don't listen to Uncle Lane. The scorpions <laughs> become spiders are not for eating, okay? That's highly irresponsible. Here, William. Barbecue. What do you think <laughs> makes this such a transformative experience, especially for families? Because it's, a, I think it's an amazing bonding um, activity to do with people. I, I really feel like there's nothing else like it. Absolutely agree, William. What we find that's transformative is the fact that unlike going to a cinema, to a restaurant, you're in an enclosed space, very structured. You sit down, a menu is presented to you, you order, it's very robotic. But when you drive two hours into the desert or you go up three hours into the mountains and you open the door, you have expansive space. There is, you can see as far as the horizon can, uh, as, you, as your eyes can see. And suddenly there's no limits. There's no barriers. You can, you know, you could go up the dune, you could go up on a hill, you can eat when you like, and and just really set your own uh, set your own rules and your own limits. And that that lack of barriers, uh, that fresh air, that visualization, the exposure to nature, is what it what's so good for you physically and psychologically. Which is why, time and time again, you know, whenever we open up these trips. They get sold out within minutes. They get the roster fills up within minutes, and you know I can only encourage others to to follow this experience. Final question: What's coming up? Uh, so for those that are uh, uh, tuning in and interested in getting involved, what's coming up? What are the sort of limit? I mean, is there an age limit? Is there a driving limit? Is there an expertise limit? Yeah. Well, the rule of thumb is uh, we encourage you to start when your kids are out of diapers. So as soon as they're out of diapers and they can walk around, then the the floodgates open for them. Mm -hmm. And we encourage that because then they get familiarized with nature early on. So that's the age limit. So if you have kids outside of diapers and up to like 16, that's your prime window. And in terms of the season, look, um, right now as the weather cools and but it's still warm, we encourage families to go into the mangrove forests of Ashman, where you where they could partner with uh, uh, Quest for Adventure and, and expose themselves to the microclimate of the mangroves where the weather is up to five degrees cooler than what you have outside. Or go, or, or go do what I'm doing tomorrow, which is go up into the hills, or even as far as close as Hatta Hub, which is very accessible. You don't need a four by four. You go hiking, water sports, bicycling, and even camping. Well, listen, there's so much to do. This is fantastic. And I think my first trip is going to be with you first, because like, like, you're, you're the guy. We'd be delighted expert. to have you on our, on our <laughs> roster. I'm big. Cheers, man. It was the food that sold me, man. Like, oh, wow. you, just check out our Instagram account. You'll see the we eat five-star cuisine every time. Thank you wow. so much.